Welcome to the finals of the 2012 National Science and Engineering Competition here at the Big Bang Fair in Birmingham. We're seeing this enthusiasm, we're seeing somewhere like this today with thousands of kids milling around, all just infused by science. I think just goes to show that this is something that they can, they, they can pursue as a lifelong ambition. We've got 170 projects in the finals this year, so that's over 350 finalists who are all super excited about being a finalist. And the judges we've had this year have said it's the best year ever so far for the quality of projects. So they've really raised the bar. So we'll be having a tremendous award ceremony later where we get to find out who's won all the prizes. We've got over 50 prizes to give out, including the titles of Young Engineer of the Year 2012 and Young Scientist of the Year 2012. We're really interested about finding out the facts for ourselves because we know that like Things are advertised in such a way that you just don't know what's the truth anymore. I think it's just opened so many doors. I'm so impressed by the whole experience. Well, as part of my Nuffield bursary, we had a um, celebration event where we presented to a panel of judges. And from there, I was nominated for this competition. So I put my name forwards and I wrote a little report and I was lucky enough to get through. Just an engineer and a great it's a great subject, it's a great sector. There needs to be a lot more engineers in Britain. I start with I was quite nervous about presenting my work, but as the day went on and as the days have gone on, I've got quite a bit more confidence. I've actually really enjoyed presenting my work to both you know, the individuals that come around but also the judges who may know a bit more about the field. And I always had this desire to find out how and why things worked, and this was a perfect opportunity for me to further my knowledge in engineering. Yeah, I've got quite an extensive electronics background. A lot of that comes from my dad. He's been quite influential. If you're going to enter this competition, I think you should find yourself a project that you're really passionate about in an area that you're passionate about. I think you should be very clear what you want to try and get out of it. They give assemblies about what they've done at these awards and it inspires the next group to come through really. We've got some year seven visitors coming up today to come and have a look what the older girls are doing. Uh, if you've done some sort of engineering or science project, then enter definitely. I mean, if you don't, don't get to the final, then you at least you've tried and at least you know. Whereas if you don't enter, you would never know. So I would say definitely enter. I'm delighted to announce that the winners of the UK Young Engineer of the Year Award 2012 are Wasim Mia and Jessica Jones from St. David's Catholic College. Feels unbelievable. It hasn't sunk in, has it? Absolutely amazing. Didn't think it would happen. The UK Young Scientist of the Year 2012 is Kurtana Valabanani from West Kirby Grammar School. I just, I'm like, I'm just in shock, like I really did not expect to win this prize at all, but I'm just so happy that all the hard work paid off after a while and that I, just, I didn't even expect to get through to this competition, let alone the top five or win in the end, so I'm just I'm really happy and yeah, I'm just a bit overwhelmed at the minute to be honest. And that wraps it up.